Hello, welcome to Creative You Podcast. I am a yarn shop owner in the Hanover, Pennsylvania area in a small town called McSherry's Town. And today is March 9th and it is like springtime outside. You can hear motorcycles going and we've had the time change and uh, it's just spring fever. So I probably won't have many customers today, but I am here to show you beautiful Louisa Harding designs. This is a trunk show from Knitting Fever, which is out of Amityville, New York, and they host a series of phenomenal yarns like uh, Louisa Harding, Juniper Moon, um, they used to have Debbie Bliss, they have Ella Ray, and so on. But today is Celebrate Louisa Harding Day with two of her yarns, Petora and Amatola in the lightweight. So this is Petora. This color has a lot of yellow in it, and it um, created the cow that I'm wearing. These yarns were named after famous artists. So this one was named after Klimt. He did beautiful paintings which, with lots of golds, lovers embracing or kissing. And um, this colorway is gorgeous. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. I have a few skeins left. I'm sure any of the colors would look beautiful. So far in the trunk show, this is pattern has been the best seller. So their patterns are absolutely beautiful. Full page patterns, just beautiful. And if you support your local yarn shop um, on local yarn shop day and they have a contract with Knitting Fever, Knitting Fever gives out free patterns. This pattern is called Honesty. It is a one skein project, so uh, about a $20 project. It's done in the round and just one page of instructions. So that is honesty. I actually started a pattern with Petora, but I paired it with Salka, I think Legato. And it's coming out just gorgeous. I made a mistake here. It should have been just um, two rows of each color. Now, when this is blocked, this is going to look amazing. So, I decided to just create it into the pattern. If you study design, it's always more interesting to have three in a grouping than two. So, if you just remember the three little bears... And if you're doing artwork, a big, medium size, and little works out great too. So I could have had a one row, a one ridge, two ridges, and three ridges. Excuse me, my nose is itching from the yarn. But I decided to just do this. This shawl has a solid middle, and the increases come out on the sides. It is a pattern that you have to purchase. Is called Lovely Leaf Shawl by Elizabeth Stinks. And the beauty of it to me is the beautiful leaves at the end. And I can't wait to get to that part. I don't know how much you can see that, but that is a work in progress. They also sent just a very simple garter stitch. If you hear a kitty meowing, that is Patches from Good Old Tales Rescue. She is staying here until she gets adopted. And because we are closed Monday and I'm getting here late, although we have a group coming later, uh, she lets me know when she's been here alone. So this is just... A garter stitch cow and sometimes simplicity is is that is just beautiful and I could even picture this inside a winter coat or just as a wrap and there's so many different ways that you can wrap shawls 
the yarn knits up nice and soft with a lot of spring uh, in it, a lot of beautiful drape, and they are starting to name the yarns now after uh, famous paintings like Starry Starry Night and so forth. So let's see what else we have with Petora. So this time of year, I get excited with spring. My daffodils are getting ready to bloom. I don't know if we'll have more winter or not. This is called Albertine. And although, yeah, it's the pattern shows up, I think it would also be lovely in a solid yarn as well. This comes in a flyer and they show it being worn this way, which is very, very pretty. And this is done on a size US 5 needle. One page of instructions, beautiful colors to look at. And I actually have two of these. I have the one that they sent me. Louisa Harding also likes to do little flowers. And then we already had one at the shop. So I'll show you that when I find it. And then this lovely shawl was also sent. This is also a leaflet that you purchase. And this is a long scarf. You could have a lot of fun with this. Look at the beautiful lacy border. Uh, one thing I've noticed sometimes when I see shawls um, like this is that I think the person has a sweater on the way they have it draped. And you see the picture almost, now this looks silly with both of these, but almost looks like a, um, a cardigan. But this would be fun starting out small. Isn't that amazing when you start out at the very beginning and you feel, oh, I got 40 rows done. But really, you probably have about 1% of the shawl done. <sighs> oh, okay, let's see what else. I have a lot of, oh, here's one. And if you're a roughly type of girl, this is a Petora color. You can see the beautiful colors. And it actually looks very pretty on, um, on the model. That is the shawl that I just showed called Tatiana. And, oh, here we go. That was the garter stitch shawl that I showed. And then Myla is that. I do think maybe you would need a certain type of figure um, for this particular pattern. If you have wide hips, I don't think. But some people are straight as a board, and that would look really cute. Deborah of Meanwhile Back at the Castle always jokes that she has one of those board-like boy figures. So now I'm going to switch over to the um, Amatola portion of the show. This was the one scarf I showed you. And then, um, I don't remember if I showed the other one or I didn't, but anyway, we'll keep going. Amatola is a lightweight yarn. Probably, it maybe could be a sport weight. Sometimes I've heard it called fingering weight, but beautiful colors. It is a wool silk combo. You get 273 yards, so plenty to do a project. And a lot of these patterns, oh, right here in my lap, <laughs> right here in my lap is the other Petora um, scarf with beautiful greens, feeling like you're out in a forest. Lovely. Okay. So let's, she has, again, her books are just beautifully done. This one is called Amatola. And then there is a book called Amat 
um, Amatel because there was also a yarn called um, Oritel, Oriel, which I still have some of that. It has a light sparkle in it. So this top, or it could be a vest, they did send me. This yarn knits up so soft. So, you know, sometimes people get discouraged because yarn companies always knit up the small sizes, but that's just what they do. You have to be able to picture yourself, would I look good in this? I've always loved blues and browns for myself. And, you know, it's amazing how when you're growing up, compliments stick like scotch tape, but so do disses or um, unkind words. And I remember as a child having on blue and brown and my dad said, oh, you really look good in blue and brown. And I've always carried that with me. The trick in life is to let the unkind words fall away or deflect and let the good ones stick and become part of us and let those kind words multiply so that we pass on kind words to other people. So that one, and this book gives you the yardage for, um, the Amatola or the other yarn. And it is just filled with beautiful designs. Always feminine looking designs. Beautiful hats, sweaters. And they now they're showing you this sweater in the Amatola and in the solid. So let's do that one next. And again, this is so nice and soft. So somebody that looked at this said, oh, that's for a skinny person with long arms. But you got to be able to picture yourself. This was a color called Iceberg. And the pattern is wonderful for the way the yarn stripes. And then lacy sleeves. Very, very pretty. And that one is called Crystal. I have plenty of these books. If you ever want to purchase one, just contact me. My email is creative, U-E-W-E, -E, so there's a double E there, yarns with an S at gmail.com. Now here is another beautiful sweater. That colorway has been discontinued, but there are lots of beautiful colors to take its place and here it is so lovely the gray to me is unexpected but pretty if I was dyeing yarn or creating colors I don't know that I would have thought to put gray down with these um, warm colors but it works and then there is a lacy ribbing. How pretty. You could be creative and do it with short sleeves. And that would be lovely too. I think a lot of us don't stop to think that we could modify these patterns, make them our own, change the neckline. Um, there's another pretty vest. And there they're showing you with stripes and then solid. Let's see. There's the sweater done in a solid color. I think a shorter waist. That's another thing. You can shorten waist there's a lacy vest and a pretty scarf I mean for a small price the books certainly have a lot of patterns so let's move on to this book and there's a pretty cape in autumn colors 
And then this lovely pattern I have. So I'll show that to you. It's called T-A-I-N-I, Taina, maybe? It looks like a reverse stockinette stitch because at first I had it turned the wrong way. And I guess you could seam it whichever way that you want, but I could tell by the seaming that it goes this way. And nice vertical stripes, a lacy band coming down, and then garter ribbing across the bottom, which I'm so used to seeing um, knit one, purl two ribbing or knit two, that this is a nice change. And it does come down at a slant. So very pretty, soft and lightweight. And then this is a scarf in the book. It has a completely different feel when I picked it up. It's much softer. This was done with double strands and it has a nice cable pattern and a little bit of a ruffle and a nice edge. And it's shown in this book. It looks like it would be fun. That's a color, I think it might be called um, Cosmopolitan. I'm not sure. I have all my colors up here in a bin. And then that one I think is berries. I think the darker color is in the middle. And oh, look at those colors. So that kind of has a half diamond motif in the hat and a chevron scarf. And this color I know is called Sleepy Hollow. Remember the legend of Sleepy Hollow? And there you have almost like a fade from a dark medium into light. I love the pattern. And then here's the hat. Very pretty, wouldn't you say? And there's the flower. Okay. I really think I would like to knit this and I'd like to see it in other colors. And if you work with pins and such, it's really fun. Now I'm ready to show you my favorite. And this also has a lovely scarf shawl that you can wear different ways. And then this is the scarf that I just showed you, but in pink colors. This is also lovely. So lots of patterns. I think springtime is exciting to be a knitter because while you're thinking of plowing up ground or digging up ground and planting flowers, you're also thinking about spring yarns and spring colors. And um, okay, where is the pattern I'm looking for? Let's see. I think the other book perhaps and let's see page 106 no nope, I think the wrong book but the one that I'm getting ready to show you I really like and oh, let's take another look again page 23 nope not that page gray white well I'm sorry because I don't know what I'm looking for here but it is in one of the books I know that so I'll go ahead and show it to you hmm it is this lovely little scarf and I just can't wait to knit this. I think this is just so pretty. I'd like to try it in other yarns too. 
like to try it in a solid. So it comes down in a nice little tip. And then there is the lacy bottom. And while I'm showing things, happy, happy birthday to my son, Justin. He's my third son. And of course, I love him so much. Here we go. Isn't that just pretty? And there's the little lacy pattern on it. So, and my son Justin and his wife have given me three beautiful granddaughters. So, that's kind of overwhelming and beautiful. It's like it was raining beautiful soft yarn and soft projects. And, mm. so, if you have any questions or comments or you... You'd like to know how you can get any of these beautiful things. I'm here. <laughs> this is another book that they sent me that I was not familiar with. I do have quite the library of Louisa Harding books here. So this was like eye candy when this arrived because I hadn't seen it before. But again, just more, just more eye candy, beautiful photographs beautiful projects and oh there is the scarf I was looking for no wonder I couldn't find it I wasn't looking in the right book and at the price of patterns today books are really a good deal practically a steal so I'm gonna let you go because it's so nice out today that you want to be out there getting spring fever kicking up a little ground thinking about what you want to plant or looking at things that are poking through the ground or just spending a day taking a nice walk. So shine, baby, shine, and I'll catch you next time.